Rafa, end of season games often uh, are disappointing, but there were a few chances in that one. Shame you couldn't get a goal, maybe. Yeah, I think so. I think that there uh, was an open game. They had one or two, we had three or four, and everything could happen. So it's a pity at the end we hit the post and it could be a win, but uh, okay, it uh, has been the same uh, away. We couldn't score the, the goal that we, or the chance that we couldn't take the chance that we had, and has been a big difference. That has been the story of your season, given you finished second at the end of last season. 23 points, I think, less you've, you've managed. Is that because the expectation levels were so high? It's because uh, we were doing really well the last year, and this year uh, we couldn't do the same. As soon as you lose one or two games, uh, the people is uh, expecting from the beginning that you have to be at the top of the table and to be contenders. And then it's not easy to manage uh, all these things, and also the problems that we have had uh, with injuries, especially important players from the beginning. When you look at Fernando Torres, 18 goals in the Premier League, and, and a big, big miss throughout the campaign. Yeah, I think that we have uh, mixed players. No, at the beginning we didn't have uh, Fabio Aurelio, that was a a very important player for us in the past, and after we have had uh, Gerard, Johnson, Torres, Aguer, Skertel, too many injuries, and some of them at the same time. And for us, it's not easy because you can see that we have uh, some young players on the bench, but they still they need experience. Jack Robinson was given his chance today, history maker at the age of 16, the youngest ever Liverpool debutant. Yeah, I think that uh, has been really lucky for, for him because uh, we had the reserve team away, coming back late, and then. He was training with us. We had problems in the position of left full-back, so we bring him here uh, with this option. And then at the end, I, I thought it could be good for him and also for the rest of the young players to see that they will have chances if they work hard. And the old guard are still doing their job. Jamie Carragher, 37 out of 38 games in the Premier League, and talk already this weekend that he might be asked to change his decision and to, and to return to the England fold. Can you see that happening at all? Yeah, I think so. I think the Carra is a, is a player that normally is fit, and uh, I think that uh, for England could be a very good option because they have some centre backs, but also they have had some problems. So Carra can play in two different positions, and I think that can, can help. Have you been able to gauge his mood? Have you been able to speak to him about the possibility of his returning for England? I say to him congratulations because I think that uh, will be good for him. You think he'll be in the squad? I think so. Well, that is some good news. That's. One positive for Liverpool supporters to, to look forward to in the summer. What about your own future at Anfield? I know that you had a meeting with the new chairman this last Thursday. Can you uh, fill us in on that? Can you give us some guidance as to what went on? The meeting was uh, really good, really positive, and then now we are ready for another one, and then we will talk uh, when during this week, the next week. Are you committed to Liverpool in the future? I am really pleased uh, to be here for a long time, and hopefully uh, I can stay if all the conditions are right. The conditions are right. Presumably, there's still a bit of negotiation to go, is it? No, we have to keep uh, talking like uh, we were doing in the other meeting. Appreciate your time. Thank you.